What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Savannah. Thank you so much for watching today. And we are back in Tali Zoo, which is our franchise zoo. So welcome to another Franchise Friday episode. I hope you guys are doing well today. In today's episode, um, I have not too much planned, to be honest. Um, we added our Aardvarks last episode here, so I do definitely want to get their habitat looking a little bit nicer because right now it looks a little sad with how we left it. Um, they've got their little cave in here, and you can see they're both kind of hanging out in here, um, but they're, the foliage level is not quite correct for them, um, which is a bummer because I totally forgot how little foliage they like. So having this tree right here next to their habitat um, is a bit problematic but I'm gonna go ahead and hit play we're gonna get started on trying to deal with them first and foremost so if you see their enrichment is okay because I think we still need some like food enrichment for them um, we'll deal with that in just a second but if we go to their coverage see how high it is and let's see what happens when I delete this Wow, look at how much that went down. Okay, so we, we may, and I, you know what, maybe that's okay, because maybe we just, here, let's move that tree to the other side, because I definitely still want, like, a canopy feel over this, um, this little cafe, uh, eatery area, but maybe it just doesn't have to be on that side. So yeah, we'll put that there and then maybe we'll get a couple smaller trees because I'm okay with their foliage being a little bit over. Um, this bamboo is playing a role in it as well. So maybe we take this and kind of move it outside of their barrier. So it's still a backdrop for the habitat, but it doesn't quite count towards their foliage um, overall. But anyway, I'm okay with them being slightly over in terms of their foliage, but I don't want it to be so bad that obviously their welfare is, is super negatively affected because we want them to be happy because that's when people will donate for us and everything, right? So let's go ahead and check now. These little guys sleeping in here. I think the aardvarks are super, super cute. Okay, yeah, so now we're down to 10% and they like grassland and tropical in Africa. So let's go ahead and filter for that. If we go to continent, we go to Africa. Biome, we go to grassland and tropical. Perfect, so let's get rid of that so we can see and let's see what we can't throw in here for them. What I think we'll do is we'll do like a rock backdrop here. Um, so let's focus on a few little plants up and around here. You know, I didn't put down like a little body of water for them at all, huh? And they are probably going to need something like that. So let's go ahead and make this their little water area. We can make it kind of back up against these rocks. So if we go to the terrain and we put a little bit of a dip here. We can make this a little water area. I don't want it to be too much or too deep because um, they're not really supposed to swim. <laughs> or at least they're not. They're not really an aquatic animal. Let's go ahead and smooth out these edges here. I thought for today's episode we wouldn't do a time lapse. And that way... Is this not... It's not deep enough. Um, that way we uh, could hang out a little bit. And, you know, there's been a time lapse in every episode thus far. But this way we can kind of take care of some management stuff and, um, and hang out and chit chat a little bit. I'm not quite happy with how far down this goes. Um, but then also that way you guys uh, can kind of hear my process a little bit more as we go through and kind of decorate um, in what I'm what I'm thinking and, and how I decide what to do with certain habitats and stuff like that. So so yeah, so that's what we'll get started on. I may change my mind later, but we'll see. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to box you up. <laughs> eh, that looks... Not super happy with how that looks, but We'll kind of leave it for now. Maybe it'll look better. It's, it's literally just for them to have some water. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to nature and kind of decorate around this just a little bit because maybe I'll hate it less uh, once we put everything down. Let's go ahead and take some of this grass just because they like, I know they like low coverage stuff. So we'll kind of put some of this here and there. I really, I struggle personally with the animals that, um, don't like a lot of coverage because I am such a heavy foliage person that I I don't know what to do with the habitat if they don't like a lot of coverage, right? So 
Uh, I don't, those look, <sighs> trying to stay with the tropical theme, but also I know these guys are grassland. Here we go. We'll put like one of these guys right here. Um, so yeah, so I don't, I don't quite know what to do with a habitat when I'm not, when I'm not supposed to put a whole lot of foliage in there. Let's see. That's a nice little framing area, right? I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the grass that's right here. So we'll kind of paint that away a little bit and let's go ahead and get some more dirt around this water. This dirt texture, this light soil is my favorite. Love it. We can put some long grass over here. There we go. Are you going to feed them there? Did I not put down? Oh, I guess I didn't put down a little feeder for them. Whoops. Oh, you can get up there. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't put a feeder down. So let's go ahead and go to species and aardvark and to their food and water. Let's just get a small food bowl, right? Because there's only two of them. And we'll make them eat right there. Aardvarks don't get stressed easily, right? Well, they have a cave. Yeah, they're not too stressed. And to be honest, there's not too many people watching them. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but let's go back to foliage. So let's see. I don't want to mix and match too much because I don't want it to look, I don't want it to look weird. Um, but I just want some things here and there to add just a little bit of greenery so that there's like some interest and something to look at, right? So that it's not just an open barren habitat. I like those, what, what are they called? Those palm, these things, tree fern. Yeah, I like these. I think they look really nice. But let's see if we put one. I don't really like that one. It's not, it's not full enough. Let's put one right here, maybe? Does that look okay? I know it's glitching through the thing, but we can always fix that. If that looks okay if we rotate it here. Nope. All the leaves stick out kind of an equal distance, so we'll have to move this. Let's see. To be honest, guys, normally I like, you know, remember what we've been doing and where we were at, but I've, and I feel like I've been saying this a lot, but it was such a busy week that I'm, I kind of forget where we're at with our, with our franchise. Um, so I had to come back in a little bit before I started recording this and kind of make sure everything was, was okay and take care of a couple things, but yeah, that's starting to look a little bit better. Let's see what we got going on over here. So low welfare for our boa constrictor. Why is that? Uh, social health. Is that because you guys have had babies? Yep. So let's see. Let's click on here and go over here. So let's grab. Oops, that's not what I meant to click on. Let's click on you and you and to the to the trade center. I couldn't find the button for a second, but there we go. They should be all happy now. Ooh, vet research complete. What did we get? Ooh, aardvark stuff and caiman stuff. So we can see if we have some um, food enrichment for the aardvarks and more barriers. Do we have the thick barrier yet? That thick glass barrier is what I've been wanting. No, not yet. We got the electric fence though. That'd be cool for some detailing and stuff. And, and maybe you guys were saying a jaguar might go really cool next. Um, and I completely agree. So maybe we'll have to look into adding like our first big cat. My thought was thinking that we could do a, like a, um, we just get one, you know, like our zoo doesn't have enough money to get a male and a female. So we just kind of get in one and, um, you know, it's one that we, we were able to rescue from either another facility or maybe out of the pet trade from illegal ownership or something like that. Um, and I think that's a great idea. So we'll look into doing that maybe in the next, next episode. Cause right now, I don't know if you guys noticed down here, I don't think I showed you I did increase our ticket price to $22 a piece and guests are saying that they think that's fair. Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with fair, but right now we are not doing so well in the cash flow department. So we need to take it easy and um, let, let our money build up just a little bit more because uh, we're, 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 yeah. <laughs> in hard mode I don't want to um I don't want to struggle here so we're gonna we're gonna relax and and we're gonna let our um oh look two more uh we're gonna let our froggies our turtles and our snakes have babies so that we can sell them I didn't check the anacondas um earlier I realized oh one of each oh you're pregnant yay uh so yeah so we're gonna let those guys do their thing and um hopefully earn a little bit more 
money. Um, what I had done is I went through and I trained a lot of our staff, um, but I also did get rid of our work zones because I want to redo them again. <laughs> work zones are so new to me and you guys have so many wonderful suggestions in the comments um, that now, now I want to redo them. Um, so I, I took the work zones away again. Okay, uh, sorry, I was just kind of thinking about what I wanted to do here. Low welfare, please don't tell me you're getting stressed. Ugh, you're getting stressed. Why are the animals so particular? Okay, so that means we need to do kind of a rock wall as well. So let's go back to nature here. Let's go get rid of this, get rid of this. Let's grab some of our rocks and we're gonna do we're gonna do kind of a natural thing here. We'll stop running up in front of the people. It's like, you know, you're yelling at your stress, but then you're like running up right where you're being stressed out. I can't help you if you don't help yourself. I need you to cooperate with me. So yeah, if we do if we do stuff like that, maybe that will help. Let's uh let's get these in a group here and color them all the same. And that way they blend in and don't look like such a eyesore. Um, that's not the color. That's an okay color. <clears throat> I don't think it's the right color. And of course now it goes dark so I can't see what I'm doing. Thank you very much. Let's duplicate that over to maybe over here. Right here. Let's get this down like that, I guess. I don't see the thing is is like I don't want to block too much of it but I also wish that like I mean can they just not have a a better mechanic for like the animals deciding when to hide and when to come out right like if they're stressed go in here until you're fine and then come out because you are you're gaining your stress back or I guess you're getting rid of your stress when you're down there but as soon as you come up here oh we don't have I think the uh what are they under facilities Yes, this. So let's see, where's our security? Yeah, we don't have any of these. So let's go ahead and sink these down and quiet people down all along here. I hate how they look, so I always sink them down in the ground. Okay, that should help too. Because let's see, how are you right here? Oh, great. Okay, so you're at 100% right here because you're behind. Hopefully it's because you're behind your little walk rock thing. <laughs> tripping over my words, uh, behind your little rock thing here and because I put those stressor, those remindings to guests so that they don't like sit here and scream at you guys. Awesome, so their welfare, their welfare is good. Do we have donation buckets, donation bins, whatever you wanna call them? I don't think we have enough. So let's put one right next to you. Please donate to our aardvarks. Um, let's see, wow, that's a huge mass of people. Where are you going to? Is the keeper talk about to start? Is that what's happening? It is. <laughs> wow, they just like come in flocks of people, don't they? My goodness. Oh, we're about to have another baby. Or is this isn't the baby, right? This is the mom. Offspring imminent. Come on, have your baby. Let's speed it up. Get out of the water. We want to see this time. Because we already have... Oh, look, there's the other one. These guys actually have babies fairly fast. Is that something we're going to have to pay attention to? Are these going to be like Turtles 2.0? <laughs> Where all of a sudden we're going to turn around... Yeah, because there are those both... Those are both babies? Where's Dad? Oh, Dad's over there. These... Yeah, these guys might be uh, Turtles 2.0. Can you have your child, please? That would be great since we're, you know, sitting here following you. It would be nice if you... Be nice if you would cooperate, but I guess not. Okay, we'll just have to wait. It'll notify us when she does have the baby. Oh, is she going to get out of the water right as I go away? Mm, no, she's just going to weirdly sit. Oh, our aardvark is about to have a baby. Everybody's having babies. This is so exciting because babies make the guests very happy and then they donate and we want happy donating guests because <laughs> then we can build more and we can put more animals in, right? All right, let's see baby aardvark. Come on. You know you... Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Can you please have your baby and not poop right in front of us? trying to make this quality content here little aardvark is it baby time 
Lay down. Have your baby. There we go, guys. We're going to get to see our little baby art park. There we are. What do we have? A little boy. He's so cute. Yay, baby art park. Awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so let's make sure with three of them in there, let's make sure he can't escape for whatever reason, because sometimes the babies have different traversable areas than the parents, right? So let's go click on him. What's your traversable area like? Um, I'm not on the right tab. There we go. All right, so you can escape over here, but that's mostly... We can just put a rock in front of that. So let's go ahead and go back to the back to the rocks. Let's pause it because it looks like he's trying to make a break for it. Nature. Um, let's go ahead and sink this rock in here and here. Let's make sure we're not poking through the other side. No. Nope. Okay, great. That should do it for that. And then we can actually take these while I'm thinking about it. Let's rotate these up on their side here because we want to block block that view of the back of that wall, right? So, topic of the week, right, guys? Uh, thank you so much for all the love on the um, speculation video that we did for Planet Zoo. I am, I am so excited to see what they have planned for us. And certainly I think that the South American, or not South American, the Southeast Asia pack is what everybody's kind of expecting. But I would, I would be pleasantly surprised if we saw something else, right? Like a North American pack, obviously being from North America, I think that that would be, that would be really, really cool to see. Um, but also birds, of course, I am still on, on the hope for that we get birds one day. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really just honestly can't wait. Uh, I just keep checking things. Uh, over and over and over again to see if I hear something or they've announced something, you know, watching their Twitter pages, all that kind of stuff. Just making sure that I know uh, <laughs> when it gets announced. I am I am so, so excited. But yeah, let me know. Um, you guys obviously gave me lots and lots of suggestions in, in the speculation video, which I loved going through those comments um, and answering as many of you guys as possible. Um, but I just, I can't wait to see what they have, uh, planned for the game and, and what we can add. Can I not have this please? Um, and what we can add into this zoo. So whatever it is, we will find a way to incorporate it into Tali Zoo. I know we're in a tropical biome, but even if they're not tropical animals, we will do our very best and figure out one way or another how to add them into the zoo so that we can see them and play around with them and, and incorporate them into the zoo here. So I am, I like I said, I'm very excited. Okay, so that looks a lot better, right? So we, we can still see kind of some of the stone, but I'm okay with that. But now we have like a nice little backing area and we can even take some of this and sink it down so that we have just a little bit of greenery throughout here. No, that looks weird on top of the rock. We'll just do this, put it here, put that there. Beautiful. The little baby is so cute. Look how little he is. Uh, more little animals would be great too, right? Awesome. So this is like their little their little oasis kind of is what it looks like. God, I want to put, uh, maybe we put another big tree right here and then maybe, maybe if we put a big tree there and it, um, doesn't hang over too, too much, it won't affect them. Let's go back to tropical because this isn't going to be directly in their habitat, right? So let's see, let's go. These are rocks. I want a tree. What can we put? We obviously have the Brazil nut tree, which I don't think looks too bad but it doesn't it doesn't have at least that one doesn't have that big of a canopy mm, no how about something a little bit yeah maybe like this whoops we're in a building i see i like that one because it kind of hangs over the path just a little bit more so how's that one? So we have that option. We have this option. How's that look from the path? Or we have this up. That's really tall. Maybe I like this one the best. 
Yeah, I think I like this one the best. Although, do you guys feel it fits in with the bamboo right here? Or are we going to have to get rid of this bamboo? Because I, I feel like... I don't know. I just kind of feel like it doesn't work. I feel like maybe we should take this and duplicate it and bring this over as more of a backing. So that we don't have to use the bamboo. Because then this looks more... This looks more planned, right? This looks more like... Um, like zoo-like, like they, they built this so that you can't see behind it. And, you know, in a zoo, maybe there would be um, some uh, backstage, like behind the, the food and stuff. There would be some, be some back of the house, whatnot. Um, but yeah, so if we do that and we kind of section that off. So as you're walking, you know, you have the aardvark on this side and then we can, we can do some more plants and things like that in front of this fence. But that way we don't have to use the bamboo as the as the main backdrop. And let's go ahead and get my, my favorite dirt. <laughs> it's a weird sentence. Didn't know I had a favorite dirt until Planet Zoo came out. Get my favorite dirt down in here. And yeah, I think that, I think that's pretty good for our aardvarks. Okay, so let's hit play again. Let's go ahead and take care of what is happening. Uh, why? Social health, social group. Wow, that was fast. You guys, I'm assuming, yeah, I'm assuming you had your baby. So let's go ahead and send you guys to the Trade Center. They got real pissed off real fast. I wish they would give me, I'm, maybe they did give me a warning and I was just too busy uh, working with our aardvarks to notice. Are you guys good now? Yeah, you're good now. So that should go away. Um, let's go ahead and dismiss that. What did we get? So we got pizza pen without a vendor for a long time. I got to redo those. Uh, I got to redo those work zones. Let's see, who, who in our uh, vendors, go all the way down here, is anybody idle? Low workload, high workload, high workload, efficient workload. What are you doing, commuting? Where are you? Let's help you commute, uh, especially since you're stuck. <laughs> I wish they would not get stuck like that. Oh, do we have some stuck guests too? What is happening today? Are trash cans becoming a thing? It seems like guests and vendors are having a problem walking around some trash cans. Is anybody else experiencing that? I mean, this is obviously the first time I'm seeing it, but look at how many guests are stuck at this trash can. Actually, you know what might be, it just be easier, Savannah, is delete the trash cans. Yeah, it's totally, look at that. Look at how many guests are stuck behind the trash cans. Look how hot they are. Poor things have been walking in circles. Stuck behind the trash cans. My goodness. That's bad because guests can't go like two feet without needing a trash can. But then if they get stuck by them. Yeah, because let's see. Are you guys stuck by this trash can? You are, huh? Because if I get rid of it. Yeah, see that? They walk away. Ooh, that's, that's bad. Okay, let's take away those two for now. And we'll have to keep our eye on that. Gosh, I sure hope that's not like a a really problematic, relevant thing, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of people. <clears throat> I wanted to put... I forgot about these plants. I wanted to put one back, back here. And see how this looks. I love this plant. It's so pretty. I love the color of it. Probably... But my favorite plant from the um, aquatic pack is probably the rhubarb one. That one that the Caymans can't navigate around. <laughs> uh, let's see. Low foil fare. Are you guys stressed? Stop running in front of the guests then. Let's go ahead and put another little rock barrier over here. Because apparently they need lots of protection from the guests watching. We can refine those later in a time lapse, but I think that's okay for now. Maybe one, maybe one more. This will kind of be the area... Um, that they get a little bit more coverage in because it's right next to the entrance of the habitat. There, how's that? There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Animal stressed. Hopefully that'll be going away without vendor for a long time. Oh, we only got one of them. All right, let's just go ahead and throw down another vendor. Hopefully we don't get overwhelmed with vendors, but I think one is okay. I did train some of our staff, by the way, as well. I don't—I forget if I mentioned that or not. Uh, but let's see. Oh, Cayman stuff and more Aardvark stuff. Awesome. And staff facilities and barriers. Did we get 
the large staff center because that would be great. Uh, no, staff facilities, staff room, we did. Great, because I'm thinking in one of the next time lapses that we kind of overhaul and and organize these and get the work zone set up. So I'm not going to worry about it for this episode. Um, but I thought I did. I literally not just place. OK, you know what? There. Problem solved. <laughs> With the long week I've had, guys, that is my mentality on that. Causing problems. Goodbye. There are other options to eat. Um, great. So let's see. What else do we want to do? This one is going to be a, a fairly short episode. I mean, I say fairly short. It's going to be about 30 minutes, but we didn't do a time lapse today. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed a little bit more of the just kind of management stuff and, and hanging out with me and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm happy with how this is turning out. Let's see. Oh, we, we did unlock more for them, right? So let's go to the habitat. Let's go to... Oh, look at all the... F oh, no, that's... That's all the food enrichment we have. E yes. Let's go aardvark again. Okay, so only that. Did we get more toys? Um, I think we might have unlocked the rubber ducky. I don't know if we had that before. But that's about it. Oh, I didn't even check. They're in the right temperature, right? Why are you still putting it on the ground if you have a little bowl right here? Like, literally right here. Oh, you're okay. She's going to use it now. <laughs> now that I put it in front of her. Um, I think this area is looking okay. I kind of want this to be more planted back here. What if we take some of the trees that are already here? And that way we don't have to buy some. And we kind of rotate them so that they are... Yeah, I like that. So it kind of gives a little bit more of a backdrop to the eating area. Whoop, we're in a building again. Yeah, I like that. So I know this is like, you know, all out in the sun and everything again. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do some um, like shelter. No, that would look weird with this and this here. Yeah, they've got shade. You know what? The guests are fine. <laughs> They're fine. They'll deal with it. But this, this looks like, hmm. Do we not, didn't I put all the way over here some security? I did. Why are you being so loud? Don't yell at the aardvarks. We have to raise this up just a little bit. So you guys can't see them eat. Apparently they don't like to be watched while they eat. Let's see, did that help? Yes, that's going back up. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have to watch our little aardvark friends. That's a bummer because they're such... See, here's the thing is the aardvarks are such a small animal, right? And they, they fit really well in these small little habitats that just kind of fill in the nooks and crannies. But then these little nooks and crannies habitats have lots of guests walking by and then they get upset. And yeah, so I wish that was a little bit better. But more vet research. Jeez, they're going to town on the vet research for the aardvarks. <laughs> they are they are going for it um but yeah guys i that went by really really quick for me so uh hopefully you guys enjoy just this little little quick episode um with with just kind of hanging out and and we got a baby aardvark oh we will go look and see did we get our baby caiman as well i know we already had baby caimans but let's see we have one baby caiman two baby caimans are you a baby too? Yes. Yeah, you're a baby came in. So you know what? Are you dad? No. Are you dad? Yes. Okay, how many came in can be in here? Let's see. Okay, so as soon as one of those babies grows up, they've got to go. Now, space-wise, enrichment. You want more food enrichment, so let's double check and see if we have any of that. But as far as space goes... Yeah, so maybe we put, let's put mom on contraceptives right now because I think, I think three babies is plenty. Plenty. Oh no. I don't know if I want to watch this. Oh no. Our otter. Oh no. Is that the first animal we've had die, guys? Javier. At least it was from old age. 
Some vet come get him very quickly, please, so he doesn't have to lay here. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. This is why I play in sandbox mode. That way I don't have to watch them die. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back to these guys. Let's let's not think about let's not think about Javier. Um, habitat, let's go not Aardvark, let's go for Dwarf Cayman. Oops, not that one. And see if we can't get uh, another food enrichment. Let's see what else we have. Whoops, this, that. Yes, there we go. This we can put down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put that. Oops, I didn't want it to be part of the group. Thank you, though. Let's see. Sink you down like that. Great. Perfect. All right, so now their food enrichment should be A-OK. -okay. Toy enrichment. Are you guys getting over the toys already? So they have a ball. Let's get rid of the ball and let's put the sprinkler. There we go. And that'll help keep them cool too. Let's see. Did that work? It worked. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look. And he's using it too. You're so little. Can you even reach that? You're a telepathic came in. Right? Is that telepathy? Is that when you can move things with your mind? Hmm. Whatever. Either way. All right, guys, uh, that's that's it. And actually, you know what? I'm going to pause it right now because it's beautiful lighting and I do definitely want to do a time lapse in the next episode because we will be adding another animal in the next one. Let's see how we are trending with our cash. Uh, where am I going? Ooh, ooh, still, still on the downtrend. Let's see where are our expenses. Staff wages. So maybe... We might have to let some people go. I may, I may have hired too many. Here's the question for today. Let me know what your best suggestions are for raising money, uh, other than these guys. And if if it's if it's uh, exhibit animals, do let me know. But let me know if you have any other suggestions, any any other thoughts. Um, if you think, let's see, I'll I'll show you. We do have quite a few staff members right now. Um, some of which, like, wow, you are trained a lot, and I didn't realize. Um, but we have a couple like low workloads, so let's go ahead and actually, I know I just asked you guys for your opinion, but I'll get rid of those two for low, low workload right now. High workload, so maybe another educator. These guys all look okay, except for these two. You guys look okay. Low workload for you. The vendors are kind of a split between efficient, low, and high. And then the vets are either high or efficient. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, um, what we should do to kind of make sure that our money continues to go upwards, trend upwards. We want to make money so we can add new animals. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Let's go ahead and take a look. Where did they go? Let's look at our little baby aardvark. So cute. Uh, so cute. Oops, not not speedy aardvark. So, so yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you want to continue to see more. And I will talk at you guys in the next episode. Exciting things coming to the channel. So hope you stick around. Thanks. Bye.